Basics for treating a home studio. Um, most of the time, you're going to have just one room, so you're going to be using it for both tracking or recording uh, and mixing down. The most important thing to remember there is that all rooms are going to be unique. Uh, this, no two rooms are going to need the same type of treatment. Uh, but you have to remember that you want balance. You want both low frequency absorption in your corners, and you also want some of the high and mid frequency absorption or diffusion along your walls. One of the best tricks uh, with this is to take a mirror around your room and anywhere that you can see the reflection of your monitors in that mirror uh, you may want to apply some absorption or diffusion depending on how you want the room to sound. And probably one of the most important things to remember is make it so that it's modular, that you can uh, take up and put down materials as you need to adjust the room for your recording environment. Um, by not permanently adhering things to walls, um, you can you have the, the flexibility to make the room sound the way you want it to for different projects. For these types of treatments, one inch and two inch acoustical wall panels, fabric wrap wall panels are very nice, especially if you're gonna be putting them up and taking them down. They're a little more durable than foam, but they offer the same absorption values as foam uh, for the most part across the board. Uh, foam is also great. It's lightweight, fairly inexpensive per square foot, and you have some pretty interesting colors and patterns as well. So one inch and two inch acoustical foam, uh, one inch and two inch acoustical wall panels, and then of course foam base traps in the corners as well, along with some of the alpha diffusers or the barrel diffusers as well.